All right, tricks and games week six. Um, we are, <laughs> hi buddy, lay down. Um, I thought, I seriously thought we'd be back by now, stay. Um, so I didn't really have a week six planned because I thought we'd be back at the training center. Um, but we're not, and I still think it's the right call. Um, I hope you guys are all safe and healthy and everybody's dogs are doing okay. So what we're going to do today, um, I, we're going to do a tic-tac-toe game, which I've already recorded, um, depending what order you watch these in. Um, we're also going to do over, but I'm going to do over my arm um, instead of over my leg. Um, this is one that Captain has not done yet, so that's why I'm scrunched up here, <laughs> sitting oh so ergonomically correct. <laughs> um, but I'm going to try to teach him to jump over my arm. I don't want this to be too high because this is wood and there's also not a lot of room. So I don't want him to, to wipe out. I don't want him to get hurt. Good God, I don't want to end up in an animal hospital today or a real hospital today. Not that animal hospitals aren't real hospitals. They are. This is going well. All right, so I'm going to set him up. Cap, touch, sit, wait. I'm going to hold my arm here. Over, over. Yes. Sit. Wait. <laughs> You're very cute. Wait. Over. Over. Good job. Sit. Wait. Over. Oh, he's confused. It's okay. Back, back, back. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Try again. Sit. Wait. Over. Over. Good boy. Over. Oh, <laughs> yes. So play with over. Um, one of my cap down. Wait. Shh. One of my um, disc dog students used to do um, in her routines, and it always looked really great. Um, she would hold, um, she would have her discs in one hand, and she would just sit on the floor like this and have her arms straight out like this, and her dog would jump over one, turn around, jump over the second, and when he did the second, she'd pick up the disc and just throw it so he could just go. Um, and I always just thought that, that was so graceful, and it was really, really cool to watch. It was a variation of over off the leg, um, which we've done a lot if you've taken my disc dog class or if you've done it at any other tricks and games classes. Um, if you need help remembering what over looks like, we can start here with our leg. I'm pretty sure we did it. Um, if there's a video, I'll put it up here. If there's not, I forgot. <laughs> Forgive me. Things have been a little stressful. Um, but you start with your leg out here. Cap. Over. Yes. Over. Yes. Over. Yes. Over. Yes. And then as they get better, you find a little height. Cap. Over. Yes. Over. Yes. So again, I want you guys to be very careful. Don't ask for too much height if you're on a slippery surface like a floor, like a wood floor, linoleum floor, anything like that. Um, if you have those cool little um, interlocking mats that you can put down, awesome. If you've got a yoga mat, um, they're not going to absorb a lot of the weight of the dog coming down. So you don't want them running at you full steam and really doing an over. You should just do that outside. Um, in grass. <laughs> That's you. Touch. Um, but, um, but for just like little tooling around in your house, um, short overs are totally fine as long as your dog is healthy, doesn't have any hip problems or leg problems, um, visual problems, because if they misjudge where they're landing, they can get hurt and we don't want that to happen. Um, so don't let them go all out and just leap over anything of any height because they can get really hurt and we don't want that. Um, but in a controlled setting, you can do some work um, in your home. <laughs> you look good, buddy. <laughs> yeah, that's you. Um, so try it over the arm, over the leg. Stay, good boy. Um, and, and then the tic-tac-toe thing. Um, and I'm gonna try, try to come up with another game for you guys for tomorrow. If you guys want to, um, one big thing that would be very helpful, um, we all thought that we'd be back at Every Dog by Now, and it's clear that we probably won't be for a while. Um, so if 
you could rate and review Every Dog Training Center um, on the socials. <laughs> um, reach out to your trainers and um, ask them what they can do to help you. Um, we're doers. We want to help. Um, and some of us are feeling a little lost without having a connection to our students. So reach out. Ask, um, hey, I'd really like to teach my dog XYZ. Can you help? And we will happily jump in. <laughs> um, we're all dealing with a lot. Um, another thing that'd be really helpful, um, if you could, um, share some of these videos with your friends who might want to do some tricks and games, um, aside from the payment that I took from the students to, um, to be able to create these, um, videos to begin with, I decided to make them, um, public as of when the class is over, um, hopefully to, um, make it, make training accessible for people who don't have, um, who might have been dealing with COVID or might have lost their jobs or might have not might not might have the expendable income to be able to spend time with their dog or to encourage people to to hang out with their pet um, and have a little bright spot in their day. Um, so I will not be taking payment for these classes. I ended up sending those ahead to make sure that the um, that the training center can hopefully stay afloat. Um, my hope is that um, if you've if you're able and willing, if you could check out my book, Considerations for the City Dog, and tell your friends about it. Um, if you've read it, if you could review and rate it on Amazon, tell your friends. Um, it has nothing to do specifically to cities. It's just things that you need to consider if you do live in a city, but it does work for um, everything in there is applicable for every dog in the country, in the city, in suburbia, um, in a yurt. <laughs> Um, on a boat. I feel like this is going to turn into a Dr. Seuss thing. Um, but if you would be so kind as to either purchase it or tell your friends about it, that would be probably the biggest help for me right now um, as a trainer, because I think that will be my only income for a while. And and I know that, that, that I'm incredibly lucky to even have that option. So tell your friends, um, keep training with your dog. And if there's anything at all that you need, please don't hesitate to reach out to me, to Captain. <laughs> He's here still. He's eating. Sit. Touch. Sit. <laughs> Good boy. Um, to Leah and Diane and Lucy and Dan and Yana and the entire team, Nikki and all of our friends at, um, at Every Dog Training Center and Ranger and friends. <laughs> um, find us on Instagram. All of your trainers are up there somehow in a meaningful way, so you can follow what we're doing there. And we hope to see you guys again very, very soon in person. Um, and when we do, <laughs> it might be really emotional because um, I miss you guys a lot. All right. I hope you're healthy. I hope you're safe. I hope you enjoyed these videos for the last six weeks. And thank you for trusting me with this. Um, this was new for me. Um, it was new for all of us. And this... This gave me something to do for six weeks, and for you guys, I'm incredibly thankful for that. So be safe. <laughs>